hello everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so today we are going to talk about quite a few updates uh, and some very interesting stuff happening in EOS world uh, but before that quick look at the markets and uh, yeah I just want to remind you that we have been talking about market a lot recently because uh, it's moving in a very interesting manner uh, there is a lot of positivity in general because uh, you know Bitcoin has been breaking out we called out the reversal three weeks back when uh, we were breaking out above four thousand five hundred dollar area and uh, after that I think uh, we reviewed it a few times uh, even a week back we had talked about how strong it was looking but last couple of days I think um, the signs like when I talked about uh, on uh, 22nd April that Bitcoin was is still looking very strong but EOS was not uh, looking that strong and that's what happened uh, we were at like five dollar thirty cent or so on EOS or maybe more and now we are actually dropped below five dollar mark and uh, this was kind of uh, very visible on the chart so let's have a quick look first of all as i said bitcoin actually after the last couple of days it has uh, pretty clearly broken out the recent highs and established a new high around fifty seven hundred dollars uh, which is uh, a big big milestone because i think uh, we are getting very close to the lows of 2018 um, most of the year of course towards the end we broke down but uh, these were the lows which uh, we were looking at and now this is uh, the final test for uh, this reversal to play out uh, so this is uh, a great progress I would say even if it consolidates a bit I would say it has uh, tested it once which is very strong but uh, as I reminded you a couple of days back uh, the EOS versus Bitcoin was ready to break out and this is exactly what happened so we reviewed it here it was about to break out and now we are seeing that actually that breakout played out uh, my expectation was that if it breaks out it will try to test this 200 day moving average uh, remember these are altcoin charts these are not that precise because the volatility is huge and this uh, uh, price movement may not happen so it was a almost very close to this uh, I think I would say within uh, 4 5 percent of uh, 200 day moving average so I will not worry too much about exact nature but I won't be surprised if it goes down and a little more in next few days and then uh, uh, if the rest of the market if Bitcoin continues to look strong uh, then I think uh, it can recover but I think this was uh, as I said a couple of days back uh, we were expecting this fall on EOS versus Bitcoin uh, because of the huge uh, and steep rally which was difficult to sustain so but in general what is happening in EOS world let's go to that I think the market is uh, I would say a summary on the market is Bitcoin is still pretty solid uh, it is still very very far away from the mean and the breakout so there is a, a chance that it uh, it corrects altcoins have already corrected uh, but I would say that uh, overall uh, the charts are looking very very optimistic with uh, with a little bit of a chance of correction uh, now let's go back uh, into the stories on EOS which is uh, I'm very excited on what is happening so first of all as we in the previous videos we have been talking about uh, the deep pause and how this uh, governance is working out and we are seeing a lot of progress uh, especially the Rex which is coming very soon uh, there have been three steps to the Rex. The step one was approved immediately by block producers. And step two, which had some hiccups, uh, it, even though it was approved, it did not go through. And then it was uh, proposed again. And I believe today it was uh, approved again and actually deployed. Now, the last part, which is the critical part of uh, enabling Rex, is uh, that includes adding the Rex for all referendum, which, which means that uh, you include the RAM and uh, name fee into the uh, Rex that is a little bit controversial uh, because some of the block producers have come out against it uh, I will do be it would be interesting to see how that plays out when the third step is proposed as I hear it will be in within next uh, week or so uh, if you go to their EOS authority site I think uh, they are tracking it by uh, the days and the expectation is uh, it should happen within one week uh, that's the next update uh, we are looking at so that's the target uh, what it means for you you need to make sure that uh, all of you are voting uh, if you're not voting and if you cannot identify block producers do a signed proxy and then you can participate in Rex remember dude, this is a time when a lot of people will try to scam you into buying into Rex or so on so be careful 
no need for unstaking your token keep your token staked and you can buy racks directly from stake tokens so do not uh, get into any kind of hurry uh, to participate in racks so that's one request i have to everybody stay safe in these days while it is very exciting uh, it is not going to be a huge huge return there is no no uh, rewards for participating early learn about it and uh, then go ahead with this but it's a huge uh, thing i think uh, based on the uh, the need for voting and voting rewards even if they are super small initially uh, as uh, we don't have too much usage of resources right now on the chain it, this will set a precedence of uh, what a depots can look like where there are some rewards going on from the system to the voters uh, the other big part which is uh, being discussed is a retire savings so we discussed this uh, if i if you remember uh, we talked about this huge savings fund which is uh, right now sitting at 34 million eos um, which is an attack vector we have uh, we did the referendum i proposed it myself and it was uh, it got a very very high rating early in early days almost 99.5 percent people voted that uh, yes we should burn these tokens um, but that was of course early days of referendum so there were only 5 million votes on that um, but now I think your nation has gone ahead and uh, uh, proposed it on chain because of the latest user agreement now the BPs can directly vote on these proposals so there's a lot of debate going on and there are some interesting thoughts around inflation so let me show you on Steemit this article was written by Graymas explaining uh, how the inflation can impact theoretically in long run and there have been some case made against uh, uh, the block producers or the, well, the only inflation earners. But in, on the other hand, if we end up using W worker proposal systems and so on, um, even more and more inflation will keep moving towards the block producers, which can result in uh, a very, very big influence for the block producers. So I think this is why uh, we have to be very careful um, and I think there's a, been an article written on Tribe uh, by, uh, and here they have shown that all these are theoretical issues. I personally believe that block producer pay or the inflation is not big enough um, to impact the power shifts in the, in the system. But irrespective, I think what I'm trying to highlight is what is important is uh, this port is growing to really big proportion now it's almost like 180 119 million dollars we're talking about and this can become an attack vector if we don't burn it in addition it will be a very positive news for the community i think uh, the people like burning token reducing the supply um, has usually has positive effect in crypto market so this can also boost the token price uh, with a lot of uh, media coverage so i would say that uh, this is something which we need to all ask our block producers to go approve similarly we should ask all the block producers to talk about uh, approving step three whenever it is proposed in the next one week and whenever it is ready now what is the other thing so governance is getting very exciting a lot of great debates uh, there has been eos radio show on telegram so do participate and let us know what, what your views are um, the next thing which is very big news is that as dap network keeps evolving i'm very excited to see that the real benefits of dap networks are now coming to the front uh, we always talked about the random number generators on chain using oracle services now we are talking about web oracles with uh, actual data streaming from blockchain into smart contracts uh, potential ibc solution with this and scheduled tasks and whatnot. So these are some really amazing updates which uh, are possible uh, with the DAP network. They have explained how you are not able to uh, access the data from internet which is like always changing in a smart contract um, and how this uh, problem is solved by these Oracle services which uh, these DSPs can provide. So it's going to be very exciting time I think uh, as these uh, solutions continue developing the layer 2 solutions. Uh, on EOS and uh, I think this will change how we see uh, overall uh, progress of uh, um, the, the next generation of apps. So these are some of the updates I wanted to talk about. I think overall uh, uh, including Rex, uh, including uh, all these uh, depots things which are happening and technologically we are seeing, <coughs> excuse me, we, you know, techno in the technology front we are seeing some amazing new use cases uh, emerging once we have these services built 
um, I think uh, it is just a start uh, of uh, what is possible on EOS. Um, what we are seeing is there are some big dApps we saw with the EOS World Expo, some of the big dApps coming. Uh, there have been some stable coins, some MakerDAO kind of equilibrium ne uh, network where they are trying to uh, issue uh, EOS collateralized uh, stable coins. You're talking about uh, big uh, uh, services like effects.ai uh, you, you are looking at uh, uh, moonlighting which we talked about earlier uh, so these are some huge huge use cases with millions of users now finally what i wanted to, to talk about is uh, a new proposal coming to help scaling even though we are not seeing this issue right now we are uh, and VRAM and DAP network is one way of scaling. There's an alternate proposal being proposed by EOS Canada, and uh, this is about side chains. Now, as when we talk about side chains, we always think about uh, these new tokens being issued and so on with the sister chains. We have looked at how things have evolved earlier. Now, the interesting thing about this proposal is they, this EOS mainnet extension, they're not issuing a new token. They're talking about using the EOS token Oh, for running the side chain and in a true uh, decentralized manner with the block producers running this and also this is uh, going to help uh, scale up in a horizontal manner rather than the layer 2 solution which we are looking at in other solutions like dap network and so on so this is again a very very new idea this just came out uh, recently we are still reviewing what it means but uh, it looks very exciting i think uh, as we see more and more solutions coming uh, they're also talking about oracle designs they're also talking about uh, how this can scale further uh, and this can be again a very dap focused uh, side chains um, which i would say that uh, i'm also expecting this from liquid apps at some stage because they talked about vcpu uh, earlier uh, but i think uh, this coming from a block producer side as a option to add to the eos mainnet I think this is very exciting. Uh, what it shows also is that while we are waiting for the IBC and the solution from Block One, we are already seeing community driven uh, efforts. Like uh, this is the example where I think if we can make this, uh, it's of course it's a, just a proposal right now. Um, and as it evolves, we will see more details about it. And I'm very excited about what, what is being discussed here in terms of potential to use the same EOS token so the gist of it is they are trying to replicate all like the for the particular dApp they will replicate all the EOS mainnet account on the side chains and um, the dApps will be running on those side chains um, and uh, they will create their own token economics locally while using the EOS token to run that chain so this is uh, again as I said it's pretty new concept and we are all wrapping our heads around it uh, just like it took us some time to understand the liquid apps model uh, we are trying to figure out uh, how this will evolve but as I keep reminding you so there are lot more more and more dApps coming uh, you must be hearing about all these people moving to EOS with uh, hundreds of thousands of users or million users uh, we do need these scaling solutions and community is already working on it irrespective of what happens in on June 1st from block one I'm sure they're planning some big event and uh, a lot of people are excited but what makes me excited more than that is uh, uh, there are teams as big as block one working on EOS and uh, those are hundreds of teams all over the world who are actually uh, already making progress on a day-to-day -day basis what we are doing in block start I'm working on like three or four projects which are like so much potential of uh, changing this whole landscape in e individual domains this is exactly what got me excited last year and I'm just uh, looking back it's uh, not even one year since we launched I never expected that we can uh, be at this stage so fast and that is what uh, keeps like gives me goose goosebumps and uh, it's amazing what we can achieve in one year and uh, I, I'm sure uh, in next six months to one year you will see a total change in landscape of how uh, EOS based apps are changing the way people are interacting with the web so that's all for now I think it's been a pretty long video uh, as I keep reminding you so the price the chart I think uh, yes the EOS has suffered recently we predicted it on the charts we knew that uh, this can happen all these are short-term distractions 
what I see is a great, great future for EOS. And uh, the governance is becoming very active. Uh, there's a very, very strong proof of how stable EOS can be, even with all the turbulence on governance, as compared to what we are seeing as the in the Bitcoin world, what we are seeing with uh, this whole Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash previously, all those dramas in the proof of work chains where forking becomes necessary when the, uh, there is a conflict. I do see that this is something which businesses will really love. Nobody wants to build on a on a chain which can fork, which can uh, which can have issues in from that perspective. Even though, yeah, there is always a debate about proof of work being totally decentralized versus a proof of stake. But uh, as a business, I still see why people are gravitating towards EOS and uh, how we are proving every day that uh, this is a platform to build on. So thank you once again for joining. Do share your feedback and we will keep getting back more and more news from EOS ecosystem. And especially because we are actually now uh, seeing that momentum at our end. So many people are working with us to bring real world use cases to the to the front. And hopefully as we develop these, we will be sharing more and more news with you on what we are working on. And thanks for keeping uh, this, uh, like liking the videos for sharing. Please keep doing that because we need to spread this message and m have more people join the community. Thank you. Bye for now. And we'll talk, be back very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.